Hey guys, how's it going? It's Starkiller Five and Eight here, and we are here finally with the Star Wars Resistance reactions. This video probably is a bit late, I think a week or something. Uh, it's just the best time for me to record the reactions right now, so sorry about that. Um, I did say I would give this show a shot, and uh, yeah, so I will see what it's like for the reactions. Hopefully, it's not. You know, everybody's saying it's going to be bad and all that. Maybe not, but um, yeah, let's just dive into the premiere reaction. Uh, it's an hour long. It's the hour long episode. Um, I, I think this video, depending on how much that actually is to react in the premiere, will probably be one episode anyway, uh, one video. So uh, yeah, because usually an hour long stuff I was usually split in two. But depending on how much is in this uh, first episode, which probably isn't going to be enough. Uh, I'll keep the reactions to just this one video, so yeah. Here we go with the premiere episode of Resistance. Hmm. What planet is that? Oh, it's, got, it's obviously got a start of slow pan. Is that a droid though? <laughs> what? Okay, that's kind of a neat intro. It was Star Warsy. So that's some sort of tie interceptor. No, that's bad. <sighs> oh, ah. Oh. Okay, just like that. It has its own intro thing as well. Kind of short like Rebels was as well. Oh, poor. Not in his color schemed X Wing as well, I just noticed. I think. I mean, it doesn't look like. No. Is that the old fashioned X Wing? I can't tell. It's happening too fast, I can't see the design of the X Wing. Oh wow, well. Korean ship. Haven't even seen any of those in the new era. I wish we could see more of the old style ships in the new films. Damn right it is. Damn right it is. I can't believe I'm really here on a resistance ship with Poe Dameron. Hmm. I was just thinking, it's not the uh, Tantive 4, is it? Is that the Tantive 4? I don't know. I thought it was destroyed or whatever or something, I don't know. Ah. Should I put the New Republic on standby before they were wiped out or something? Before the New Republic didn't want to get involved with this First Order stuff. That's why the Resistance was made. Okay, why could we not see or know who he is? He didn't say his name, he just said Father. We couldn't see what he was, what he looked like. Is this supposed to be someone we know? Or we're going to know? Kind of like Fulcrum in Rebels. Yeah, the stuff we saw in the trailers. The whole him becoming, uh, this is like the racing area or something. So there's someone on that dock that we saw in the trailers is a First Order associate. Okay. Old days referring to what? Which old days? I'll say that there's a lot more of Poe Dameron in this than I thought they would. I thought it would just be like the quick cameo sort of thing. Like how Darth Vader was in Rebels, for example. <laughs> what? Okay. So yeah, a lot more Poe Dameron than I, I thought there would be, actually. Oh Christ. How does a false rumor like this spread so quickly? Come on. Nobody even knows who he is. 
Exactly. Come on, is he not going to check that it's obviously not working? Or is he going to do it just because? Psst. It was kind of perfect, I mean, bullseye in there. Psst. Yeah. Okay. So one of those people that we have seen works for the First Order. I wonder who. The announcer really reminds me of the pod racer announced in episode one, and it sounds so similar. This is better than pod racing. Sounds like a. <laughs> Looks bad. Hundred percent everything. Any old damaged R2 droid. Hundred. Okay, I was about to say a hundred years old. He's probably seen a lot. I think probably all three of the main walls, hasn't he? Well, apart from the one coming, obviously, the Resistance one. He's probably seen Clone Wars and Time of the Empire. I'm saying, hundred years, maybe. Uh. Oh god. There's so many characters that they're introducing. I'm having a hard time keeping up in the premiere episode. Oh god. Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. If he wins, well, he'll probably win. Come on. Oh god. It's just, it's just like episode one all over again. Hmm. So it's doing too bad catching up in the first place. Just wait till they get close to the last ring, then he can boost. Oh dear. I mean, he hit the ring, he got through. Interceptor pilot. Forgot about that. So long ago. Omri. Damn. So that was the first episode of Resistance. Um, in terms of opening, in like the other, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to have a think. It's not. It's yeah. Come on. It, okay. It's definitely not bad. You know, a lot of people have been overreacting to it as it is. It is obviously intended for a younger audience. Fine. So be it. You know, we had all the other. We had Clone Wars. We had Rebels for different audiences. So it's fine for me. Obviously, I still think the animation could be better. I mean, I looked at a new anime that's going to come out soon, Genlock, if anybody knows about it. I mean, I think that looks better than this, to be honest. But, you know, it's not too distracting. I mean, I can get in focus and invested in the story, so, you know, it's fine. That's, so it does its job, but, you know, it can obviously be better. Um, so we finally got a list of all the characters. Uh, the main character, Kez, the Resistance spy, 
Um, there's a lot. They, they actually introduced quite a lot, so I can't remember them off the top of my head right now. So, but all I know is is about Kez, you know, the resistance spy, his mystery father. I don't know why it is, but when obviously when I see stuff like that, you know, when we don't even know his name, we don't even see what he looks like. He must be somebody we know or important, maybe. I mean, why would they do that at all? I mean, they didn't even mention his first name. They said Kez's last name, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but his last name was nothing I didn't recognise. But maybe, who knows, I don't know. So, I feel like Kez's father's reveal or something is going to be something big, maybe, who knows. Uh, Omar, I think, was the name of that First Order Interceptor pilot. Uh who works for Phasma. I know Phasma's going to be um, in this series as well, so I hope she actually does more stuff than she did in the films. I mean, it's not gonna, that's not going to be too hard to achieve, but, you know, she has to because, I mean, she has this built-up reputation of a good First Order warrior, soldier. So, I mean, I feel like this show can... Even though it's for a young audience, this show has the opportunity to show that, actually. So, um, yeah, uh, as the first episode, uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it pretty much just sets up the whole series, really. we got to find out who this First Order spy on the uh, platform is. Um, I have no guesses right now as to who it is. Uh, nothing much revealed, but I mean, we have, I think, two more episodes to still get through, so maybe I will have a quick uh, theory about who it could be in those, by the end of those, I don't know. Um, so, um, hey, you know what? Yeah, I will still give this a chance. I mean, it wasn't too bad. This video will probably likely be one video, because I didn't react to overall much big stuff here, apart from, like, the beginning fight, the race, and maybe the at end, so yeah, it'd probably definitely be one video, so. Um, but pretty much, it's, it's a right setup, I guess. Um, I'm interested to see where it goes from here. I mean, obviously, it can't just all be racing and all that. I think... I'm, I am looking forward to getting into involved in the First Order stuff, though, as well, so... Yeah, I, I heard also that this would, that uh, Resistance is going to slowly tie into the new films, like events is going to happen in Resistance that happens in The Force Awakens, for example. I think probably the biggest thing will be that we'll probably see like Kaz's and the crew's reaction to the Starkiller base firing, maybe. That's, um, so they said that will coincide with the films. I think they said it, they would in the future. This takes place like, what, six months before The Force Awakens? So the First Order is still building up and everything. The Starkiller base is not finished, so... So who knows, yeah, but yeah. Um, I think it did alright as a fine start-up episode. I'm gonna check out the other two episodes now, straight away. And uh, see how things get rolling from there. And uh, yeah, hopefully they will be good as well. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Starkiller5 and 8. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I shall see you in those videos. May the force be with you. Goodbye.